Hey guys, Wong Excel here. Today I'm back to playing Victoria 2. It's been a long time and I'm happy to be back. Um, I'm playing Switzerland by the way and it looks promising. It's not fantastic but it looks promising. We have managed to get our first colonial province in Sin which will supply us with tons and tons of tea uh, as well as some much needed wheat and fruit um, that we do not produce in our own lands. I believe the only thing we produce is well we have some fruit here yeah oh we have some wheat there yeah okay so i guess it's just tea but tea is wonderful and it pro it gives us a window into attacking punjab kalat and afghanistan and who knows what's next but in order to do that uh we will first need to i believe we could, yeah we should be able to build some units here now here's the thing um, I can't I can't do much over here I I absolutely cannot do much what I can do is I can go attack Makran uh, with my nine troops Kalat I might be able to win them after our truce is over um, but even then even with this chunk of land here uh, uh, the southern Baluchistan region I still won't be able to uh, go head on with like Punjab or Afghanistan, I will need to bring in units. So one way to do that is to have these three units. Uh, we can go ahead and attack these two. Uh, once our infamy is gone and then maybe work our way up into Egypt. Or I can build some ships here and, for, and bring our units down. Which might seem like a more, more feasible idea. But the thing of course is if I bring these units down, they will suffer attrition. So... Uh, there's a trade-off. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. It might, the, the attrition might be quite extensive, so I'll build a, a transport to just, fed, um, you know, just one transport to see if we, can, if we can make the round trip there and back. Because we have to remember there is no other port in between. Of course, unless if we go for Zulu or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so without further ado, let's go. Um, for those who are watching the series, uh, rest assured, I have not forgotten we have a claim on two Sicilies, but there's no way in hell we can take them on with our current strength. Instead, what I'll do is I'll put all my influence points into Sardinia um, and make sure that they will continue to give us military access. That I feel is the most important. Military plans is about to be researched soon. Um, after that, we should go back to our roots into researching commerce or industry. Um, unfortunately, being a great power broke off our alliance, uh, our alliance with France, so we can no longer use them. Uh, neither can we use anyone else. Um, if I can manage, uh, yeah, you see. Your Cossus Bally. So once the Cossus Bally expires, I should be able to form alliance with two Sicilies. And with the two Sicilies, I, I'm, I'm actually willing to use them to attack Tunis, you know, maybe have Tunis as one of our protectorates and another port in the Mediterranean, uh, which will further strengthen uh, any chance of like connecting our empire if we so choose to go that route. Of course, this is this, this is all counting my chickens before they hatch. Uh. I mean, I may be just stuck with this for the rest of the game. Um, so, of course, this battle is not going to work. We are influencing Sardinia. Um, but I'll let it go to 100 before I increase my opinion with Sardinia. Because um, I believe going at, going at it that way... Uh, how do I put it? makes it more likely that the AI will give up trying to fight you for influence, if that makes sense. So, machine parts, wonderful. Okay, you know what, I'll increase opinion now, 47. So wait until it goes up to 50 again before we do anything else. So I will, France is putting in some points there, kind of scary. They might ban us. 
so i'm just gonna increase this hopefully this will yeah I'm, i think we're gonna get banned so let's let's hold off let's see if we can uh get another guy papal states we will be competing with france regardless right i'm guessing once it hits 60 we'll be banned will we switzerland sure we are not banned this is strange yep we have been banned that's that's expected we have not been discredited though why oh no those are two sleaze points huh? so we have been discredited that's okay um of course, another way is to get Persia under our sphere that will prevent uh, Punjab from coming after us. Our... Hmm. Got to reduce spending a little bit. We'll reduce on the education for now. Well, technically, I don't have to spend on my military. And it's about February. Diplomatic value. They will not accept. No, no one is willing to accept. Okay, research is done. Let's go ahead and get business regulations. I don't remember who we were trying to sphere. Persia, yeah, right, Persia. Uh, were we... Yeah, nations on another continent, that's fine. We'll just continue to put points in Persia, that's that's okay. Persia will be extremely useful to us. Uh, of course, in the meantime, let's try to get an alliance here. No? Basic reluctance relations. We can get relations up to plus 50 or plus 60, I don't remember which. Plus 60, our infamy will drop down eventually in a year's time, that's for sure. Uh, we might be able to secure two Sicilies as a, a great power ally. I mean, they're technically not a great power, uh, comparatively. They're pretty weak to the other states, but it's better than nothing. And I can definitely use them. Why does it feels like I'm losing grounds over here? Okay. Hmm. They're still building this hussar. Never managed to get anything from there. Let's see if we can go back and get more stuff from Sardinia. Well, f well, the good thing is France is not... Oh, France is putting points in again. Fine, I'll leave that alone. I'm really bad at the uh, influence game. I don't know how exactly things work. So I tend not to play the influence game at all. But it's a huge mistake not to do it, especially if you're a weak nation. So it's at minus 18, which is very good. Now we are friendly. Once we hit 100, we can remove Russia from the sphere. Of course, by reducing uh, army expenditure like this, I actually want to improve this this way. Let's we'll see how this goes. Do I still... Yeah, okay, good. I gain money. Actually, no. I want to research this. Because 1950 is coming up and I... No, 1960. Okay, I still have time. Let's get the important ones first. La 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 la. Bad economy. I guess playing a small nation has it's it's much more challenging. It puts you in a much more uh puts you in a restricted um how do I put it? You are restricted in terms of what you can do and who you can attack. 
and you have to be very careful uh, on who you do attack because if it goes wrongly like if I made a mistake of attacking two Sicilies without France as my ally it, will, it may have turned out disastrous Shit. This will not help me at all. At all. Operation Swiss Fury. No. Fine, I'll gain militancy. My people are actually pretty happy, so. Clocks. Encourage clocks. Good. I actually, because of uh, Sin, I'm, I'm actually more keen on encouraging clergymen over here, you know. Uh, I'm sure it needs some. So you can remove from... Are they in anybody's sphere? No, they are not. That's interesting. You can add them to our sphere. It will provide a huge amount of resources. Um, but I'm just going to put in 50 to reduce uh, Russia's influence over them. If it gets to that. Machine tools. Sure. Hmm. Declare war on Persia. Cut down to size on Persia. I don't want to go to war with Persia, man. Ugh, but I'll lose 20 prestige. It'll drop me down to a not a great power. <laughs> oh, this is a really bad thing. It is what happens when you... I think this, this has a higher chance of happening if you sphere a nation with, with more military strength than you. We can't afford a, a war with Persia, unfortunately. Yeah, we may, yeah, we'll lose that. That's fine. We'll gain it back. It's not the end of the world. Unlucky things like that happens. I'm not too perturbed about it. Um, dropping out of great power status may be good for us. It may allow us to maneuver, have a bit more maneuvering capabilities around this area. Absolutely nothing I can do about that. Our naval shipyard has been completed. I should build this. Hi. Algeria. Cut down to size. I can't even access Algeria. Sure. So, two Sicilies is gonna ally us. We'll try and see if we can get use the two Sicilies to get Morocco for us. Uh. Oh, we need to get this. Absolutely. 5.6 infamy is good. It's fairly okay. It's not great. It could if it's lesser than five it'll be good. But it's not. And we will just have to deal with that. So. Let's see. Truce. Okay. Very unlikely. Why is it very unlikely? Hmm. Okay, now that we are secondary power. Hmm, too many great power allies. I could use France to get that, but I have to break my alliance with this. Let's try. Let's break our alliance, see if France is willing to 
No. Shit. Right, let's get our lands back. <laughs> now they hate us. <laughs> oh god, this is such shit. No one will no one is willing to ally us? Spain? No. USA? No. Deuces lease? No. Infamy, distance, threats. Ah. Yeah. Build tree first. So it looks like we have to take over Tunis on our own. Not very likely to happen, but you know, stranger things have happened. Goffin Tunnel. Wow. Okay. Of course, now the problem would be getting some army tech out and spending a little bit on this, which might put us in the rib. Oh, it has not. Wonderful. Okay. There we go. That's our first unit. Off to war. We need access, but I don't think we'll be able to get it. Uh, yeah. So we'll declare on the very, very last day that we can afford to declare it on. Uh, which is 25th September 1952, which is in about a month. Great. Okay, let's see. 25th September. So we'll declare war on the... Yeah, we'll just declare war now. Establish protectorate. We need Tunis. We need Tunis as a staging area. Ugh, my poor little ships. They're traveling halfway across the wall to land on a coast unfamiliar to them. Oh, we'll have troops su supporting them. So it's not that bad. Uh, in the meantime, as a... As a weaker power, I want to brush up on my relations with the North German Federation would be the perfect candidate to ally with or France honestly <sighs> let's just hope the troops here well they are okay still 3000 still happy uh, let's see yeah I need some I don't need a lot, I just need some. Okay. That's nine. Oof, that's gonna be a little scary. If they attack me. Okay. We are not losing at the very least. Good. Yes, we are winning. So, uh, it appears that we can get Tunis on our own without anyone's help, which is the best way. And if I can land all my troops there, it will mean that... Well, it wouldn't mean much, but it will mean that I have a forward base over here in Africa uh, to colonize if I so choose. And I can, since I'm secondary power. It will be a first step to Swiss dominance. Um, could things have gone better? Yes. Uh, that stupid event with Persia. Uh, if it did not happen, we have maintained our great power status. We have uh, maintained our alliance with two Sicilies, but you know, it got. Sometimes the game is not very good to me. You got to take them in your stride and don't quit. And we are earning tons of money. I'm very happy with this. Uh, the troops died. Uh, because they were not supported by population. 
So that's one thing you gotta take note of. Diplomatic influence is actually very important. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a few more, two more military techs before I move on. Mm, poor strata. Nah, middle strata. More important. Okay, there we go. I just hope that Morocco isn't the war leader. Fine, so Tunis is ours now. Swiss Tunis looking very fine. And now we can go ahead and start fabricating stuff on Egypt. So long as Egypt is... Ooh, Egypt is friendly with someone. Shit. Uh, but what can the U USA do? They're so far. I don't care. Uh, I need that. I need that concession. No matter what anyone says, I need it. If I don't have it, I don't care if... Well, I do care if USA gets involved, but just, just pray that they don't, you know? Uh, I am seeing something ex extremely worrying just now. There's some rebels over here, so Italy might form. Shit. <laughs> Italy did form. Oh, shit. Let's try to get an alliance with Italy. No. Why? <sighs> shit. Uh, that Having Italy form is going to be a huge problem. Unless someone allies us right now. Come on. I don't get why I don't get any allies, you know. I'm not going to bother with Persia. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just pray that Egypt has no more ships. These are Ottoman ships, right? Yeah, these are Ottoman ships. Clare War demand concession. <sighs> I need Sinai. And the USA has yet to come in. That's the Egyptian ships. Uh, let's see if you'll give me access. Relations. Hmm. They're in someone's sphere. Oh, shit. Come on. Well. Oh, the USA is involved now. Fuck. We might have to wipe peace out. I was I was banking on the USA not being involved. Of course I can walk via the desert, but it might it might not be very good for my troops' health. Uh, one way to go about that would be to send nine, nine to nine, like that. Uh, Cuba. Oh shit! You know. If we had enough, yeah, yeah, these troops aren't even properly supported. <laughs> I'm crossing the desert into Egypt. Can you believe that? Yeah, I'm not going to move that. There is no point. Okay, so the US is occupying us as well. It's not going to bode well. We need to get our war goal right now before the Ottomans start getting it and we start being in trouble. Yeah. Oh, 
Of course, now it's it's so it's all dependent on whether whether France or any of the countries around us will give access to the US. I mean, it's 20, but it's a fairly significant amount. They're going to offer us white peace. I'm not going to accept it. So what uh, what is ideal would be Day. So they are occupying Tunis as well. Ugh, such a terrible thing. Cairo, fine, occupy my my colonies. It's not gonna be a huge problem. Defender occupation. I have the war goal, so it's gonna go in my favor soon enough. Uh, should I just give up? Ah, uh, but we came so far. Why did the US have to? You know, this is strange, huh? The USA came against me, but they do not come against the Ottomans. They singled me out. I <laughs> uh, hate saying the game is unfair, but sometimes it is. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of cutting my losses. We had minus eight. The score is going to increase over time. Um, occupying the rest of Egypt's provinces will increase it over time. Will increase the amount of war score I get, but it doesn't feel worth it anymore, especially since I'm bleeding money. I'll see if I can do anything else around this area. Let Let's just wait and see. I can still afford to lose some money. I can go ahead and get more uh, more occupation. Oh, I can get a lot more occupations. It's not four percent. In fact, I might even be able to uh, occupy Egypt entirely. If only the damn Ottomans wouldn't come. If only the damn Americans wouldn't come in. Uh. Okay, once once we are at 10k, I'm going to give up. We'll see how it goes. 10k. 10k is my limit. You're already at 0%. Increase our tax. We are at four percent now. Portugal gone bankrupt. Ten K. Ten K is our limit. The reason why I want Sinai is so I can connect my provinces to get all together. I have greater access, I don't have to travel all the way via the Cape of Good Hope. It'll be huge for me. Of course, this is extremely bad for Egypt. Egypt obviously doesn't want anything to do with this.
and being at war is not good for our economy. Rebels are starting to form. That's really bad. We're close. We're getting to 20%. Uh, we're close to getting them entirely occupied as well. Fourteen hmm. percent. We're still not down to 10k yet. Of course, this might result in huge amounts of militancy for us. Which would be best avoided. Why would France want excess? French Macron. Fine, have excess. I wanted Macron for myself, but it's fine. And you can actually pass something. Cool. Da, 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 16%. Socialist. Max. It's, go it's only going to go up. Please don't tell me the war is still undecided. If I can only get back our war. But I worry there's a, a large contingent of American troops over there. If, if there is, then it's going to be a problem for us. If that isn't, we take like Tunis back, we'll have 10 more war score that might force um, the Americans into. That might force the Americans into accepting a peace offer. Let's just take a look. I just want to see. We're already at 19%. They still don't want to let this go. That's okay. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. I'll go down to somewhat lesser. You know what? Let's stop that. No troops. Okay. I'm surprised why they haven't landed any troops over in... In Egypt yet. Liberating that will definitely add a lot more war score to me. Ugh. It's almost a pirate victory. Okay, how many units is that? 24? Oof. That's not very nice. Yes! Oh, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> okay, that was really scary. We got the extremely important base of Sinai. It's 1961. We are very late. This war has been extremely costly. But it's been well worth it. A costly war, but still worth it. It only goes to show how how important I place <laughs> Kiva. Only goes to show how important I place uh, this little state over here. Basically, what this state does is allow we no longer have access by Italy. <laughs> That's okay. Um, basically, what this state does is it allow us to like gather the units that we have from Tunis, bring it to Sinai, bring it down to Sin, bring those units from Sin into... Well, Johor no longer exists, so we probably want to go for Dainam. 
or Punjab. Um, Punjab is in UK sphere, so nothing can do about that. But yeah, we'll see how that goes, how that plays out. I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, it has been a very tough fight. I don't think we'll do particularly well. Um, there are a bit too many things that have gone wrong for us. Firstly, uh, well, we we did thread the needle in the in the first episode and get and managed to get sin. Um, but it would have been great if we managed to be a secondary power, have France as our ally, and use France to take over part of the two Sicilies and actually prevent or at least make the Italy that forms a little bit more weaker. Now being sandwiched between France, North German Federation, Austria and Italy and having none of them as our allies is is terrible, frankly. Um, the second thing that went badly for us was, well, obviously, um, the fact that two Sicilies didn't want to go to war of Tunis for us, so we had to take it ourselves, uh, which delayed it delayed our expansion of course the third thing that went horribly for us was this event with Persia which dropped us from great power status and also this thing with the USA so we haven't been very lucky a lot of it a lot of what we have done here has been bought uh, with our with the blood of our population uh, thankfully we are now in the green uh, we probably can't afford to spend. We have access to the foreign market now, and we'll we are earning, we are raking in the money. We are raking in the money. So I no long, I will no no longer have access to my units again, uh, the ones from Europe at least, uh, unless I manage to. Oh. <laughs> you just have to ally the North German Federation, and I have no allies again. Wonderful. Wonderful. <gasps> oh, snap. Okay. That's a change. Okay. So France is now our, now our ally. We'll definitely use France to attack something that we want. Uh, we can't use them to attack Punjab. They're already in a war here. We'll probably use them to go to war for Ethiopia for us. Uh, we should be able to justify a conquest war in Ethiopia. I want it entirely. But we have to wait for our infamy to go down to probably a two or three years. If we manage to maintain this alliance with France, we can use them to get Ethiopia. We can use them to get Vietnam. Uh, no, probably can't use them to get Vietnam, but Ethiopia would be an, another nice touch. Uh, Pan get, getting them to get Punjab is going to be a bit of a problem, honestly. Yeah, in this war, I don't know what they are trying to accomplish. We'll see. But this, this is the first good thing. Well, one of the. I would say is the second good thing that happened to us, apart from France getting sin for us. Uh, there are no other states that exist. Uh, there are easy targets. Johor, Aceh are no longer around. Uh, we are extremely late to the party. We could go for Ethiopia. Ethiopia seems the next most likely. Um, we could also go for Kalat, Punjab, Afghanistan. Punjab is... Punjab might be a bit more than we can chew right now. We'll see how it plays out. Um, as for now, I'll end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed watching it as I have enjoyed playing it. If you did, please leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.